A downtown Indianapolis bar has reopened after a serious scare last night. Flames actually came shooting out of a sidewalk there right in front of the business. Our Bruce Cobb has more on the evacuation and the damage left behind. It's a popular bar and restaurant located just across the street from Bankers Life Fieldhouse. The pub along Georgia Street quickly reopened for business as Colts fans were making their way to the game downtown. It was shortly after 12.30 this morning when firefighters were called. Towering flames were shooting out of a metal grate on the sidewalk in front of the business. About 100 people inside the bar and another 100 people living in apartments above were evacuated. It looked like there was a torch coming out of the grates or yeah. something. We didn't realize the kitchen was down below in the basement. I mean, we were sleeping. Uh, the, the alarm went off, and, and we just like, didn't really know what to do. Uh, when we got out here, the fire was, was dying down a little bit, but it still looked kind of bad. Uh, we waited out for like an hour or so, then we just went back up. By daylight, you could see the extent of the damage. The metal grate here is discolored by the flames that were coming up out of the circulation vault below. The water from the fire hose actually broke the uh, picture window here, and the work was quickly underway to replace the glass and also repair the wood frame here on the front of the building. Firefighters believe the fire accidentally started when someone tossed a lit cigarette into the grate, igniting dry leaves and material in the vault below. It didn't take long for firefighters to put out the flames, but the sheer size of the fire made it appear to be a serious threat to the ground floor business and several floors of apartments above. Yeah, my heart just like fell in my stomach. Like, wow, you gotta be kidding, what's going on? We've had this place for 16 years, never had any issues like this before, so, you know, first time's always, you know, you know, you're kind of scared, like, you know, you're going to lose everything you have. Firefighters at first estimated about $50,000 in damage, but the owner said the repair bill could be well below that. Grateful that no one was hurt and damage was limited. Downtown Bruce Cop, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.